just like a car. <coughs> Excuse me. But men are not like conventional cars that come with a standard 250 miles tank. That is to say, when you fill it up to the neck, you can go 250 miles. The tank of a man could take you either 250 miles or only 200 miles or only 50 miles or only less than 50 miles. <coughs> Excuse me. Now then, the horoscope is your is like your gas gauge <coughs> when you progress a chart. The reason for that is that every day of your life you fill up your gas tank for one more year. You know, like you're, if you are elected president, you get four more years, not in astrology. Every day that you are in this world, since you were a baby, the radiation of the universe fill up your tank, her tank, my tank. Every day you get a fill up, not for a day. At the end of the day, you get a fill up for another year. So, say that a man lives to be a hundred. And then he dies. That means that his tank has filled up by his horoscope. Allegorically, he filled up his tank ever since he was born for only 100 days and he lived only 100 years. He lived 100 years and his horoscope, that hand there indicates that after 100 days his radiation stopped when he was only 100 days old and he died when he was 100 years old. But some people die at 50 years old. That means that their radiation in space fill them up for 50 days and after 50 days their gas gauge went empty. When he was 50 days old his gas gauge went empty but he's going to die when he is exactly and I mean exactly and I mean perfectly 150 years after he was born. Death in a horoscope is easy to find out than any other feature of your life. <laughs> so the temptation with, will be for an astrologer to say, Joe is going to die 10 years from now, Dick and Harry are going to die 40 years from now, Mary and Jane are going to die 50 years from now, and 
if an astrologer does this, <laughs> drastic things are going to happen, not to the one that really are going to die, but to the astrologer himself. So any astrologer in good standing will never say to any man that was ever born, that he ever knew, that he's going to die within so many years and so many days and so many hours and so many minutes. He could, but he doesn't want to because it, it is very unethical and astrology has its own way to punish the astrologer if he is not ethical. If he does some things that are dishonest, astrologers should be born to be honest and ethical people, or they should find another profession, I should. Because it's like my mother said, it's like spitting in the air, it's going to come right back at you. <laughs> so anyway, when you progress a chart, you keep in mind this proportion, one day for every year, one day two days for two years, three days for three years, four days for four years, five days for five years. And it's all marked by this end of this watch that is the watch of life or the horoscope. Now then, we're going to give you just one example Say that you are 30 years old this very day. That the middle of the sky for you is Gemini. And this very day that is your 30th birthday, in other words, you have lived for 30 years and we want to know what is going to happen to you from your birthday today to your birthday next year and your age today is 30 years old. We would have it right in this chart that you see over there. That this sign here that says one degree cancer that is 30 degrees away from one degree of Gem this is one degree of Gemini. One degree cancer is 30 degree away from one degree Gemini. So the middle of the sky has moved in 30 years, it has moved 30 degrees, which is just the distance between here and there. But the distance between here to there is 30 degrees. To say it another way, If today at noon you look at the sky and the sun is one degree of Gemini, supposedly, therefore at noon the sun will be born pointing sidereally at the center of the sky or the medium chain 